Hi everyone, I'm Gord. I'm the designer of board games like Santorini and math puzzles like you'll find on this video series. Today, we're gonna to play a game in the math classroom. This game is perfect and curricular for kids learning to play with money. You are my grade two partner. The teacher has just come by and given you some coins, which you have to spread out in a line. Here you go. This is the line that you've created. You created the line, I get to move first. What's a move? It means that I get to grab one of those um, coins on either end. So I could choose the dime or the quarter. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose the quarter because you are now going to get the, the choice. And if I had chosen the dime, you would have got a, a, a loony. So you're going to choose, you're going to choose the dime because you realize that if I choose that loony on the end, that you're going to get a tuny. So that doesn't that doesn't make uh, make me feel good. So I'm going to choose the cent. You're going to choose the loony on the right. I'm going to choose the quarter. You're going to choose the loony on the left. I'm going to get the tuny, and you're going to get the one cent. We now compare results and. I win. Now, that's not surprising. I set this up purposely so that I would beat you guys. <laughs> of course I didn't, but that, that's, uh, that's how the game is played. I want you guys to uh, think of this over the next week. In a week's time, I'm going to give you feedback on this problem. Remember, every time that you are given a problem like this, uh, your children should be thinking of simplifying. So even if you give the children a um, hundred uh, different coins, that's not going to add to their understanding of the game to make a chain of a hundred coins in a row. So they should automatically start to think to understand what's going on in this game. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to see what, what happens if there's two coins, three coins, four coins, five coins to, to try to start to understand what's going on. In a week's time, you'll get a new video looking into this in depth. I'm going to call this beautiful, just because you're dealing with real coins, real money. Uh, it's certainly curricular, dealing with coins. Um, the, the children are coming up with their own puzzles. So this isn't just made by me, an expert, and showing you guys how, here's a puzzle, solve it. No, this is the kids coming up with their own puzzle. Uh, easy to extend? Sure, you can just slip them more coins and the puzzle becomes harder. You could even look at making this into maybe a two-dimensional grid and, and seeing how that solves it. Let's say a three by three, and you can only remove a coin if two of its uh, neighbors are not there. So you can't choose the coin in the middle because it's got all four neighbors still there. So you can, you can definitely extend this. And lastly, is it a repetitive algorithm? No, this, this Puzzle is actually quite hard to solve generally. So this is not gonna be a repetitive one. This is going to engage your top kids and you can pair them off against one another uh, if, you, if you so choose. Talk to you next week.